Dermot, this is the owner of the pub bootlace. This is Dermot. Except his fiance. <laughs> Ex fiance. Ex fiance. Precisely. As of from tonight, due to a, a dreadful misunderstanding. I know the feeling. The wife leaves me every few months. Do you want her back? Well, I want your wife back. <laughs> you want Santa back? I'd do anything, anything. Yeah, I could be your man. Uh, no, no, but yes, he's grand. He doesn't need your help. No, no, I, I need everyone's help, Tom. Can you help me? Oh, well, he can. Would it be worth it? He can get you in the jail. Great place. Who's talking about jail? That's what I say. Who's talking about jail? Nobody. Don't you ever associate me with jail? Either of you? In my experience, women, when they're upset, like a little present. Preferably something French. If you get oh, yes. A French poodle. Well, maybe something a bit more intimate than a poodle. But Don Gregory, you know, once refused to have sexual relations with a poodle. He thinks they're all about big like, poodle puffs. Come on, Stop. Keep it shut, will you? No, I was thinking more in terms of something frilly and lacy. Cousins? <laughs> Vicky means much in accessories. Oh, I see. Oh, no, 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 no. Conceptor never wears those. <laughs> Maybe you know I. What I mean is, I'm flying off to Brussels tomorrow. The shops are all closed now. And we just have to think of something else. No need to. A publican sometimes needs to keep a private stock of various intimate garments. In case his customers drink it late, need something to pacify the waves at home. Now, what size does she take? Size? I, I, I don't know. What do you think, Tom? How, how would I know? Well, she's about the same as Roisin, uh, around the waist of that, isn't she? How do you know that? Well, I've said Shaq is sort of medium right now. Oh, medium size blue lace. How do you know that? <laughs> All right, we'll say medium. There, that's been decided. And we'll have a round of drinks now. On the house. Joe, we'll see you again here. That's a pint of lager for Tom, Guinness for Alex, whiskey and water for me, and a pair of French niggers for Dermot. I've got so bad. Lager, Guinness, whiskey and niggers. Hey, uh, what car of niggers put this? Look, there's really no need for all this. This is helping a friend. What have we got, Joe? We got uh, red, blue, black, pink, and a pair of leather ones with studs. <laughs> oh, uh, I'd say Sepp is into the leather gear. <laughs> you know that. Yes, I don't know that. I hope to God I never find out. <laughs> Do I have a tick black and let's get this over with. An excellent choice. These are handmade in Paris by a direct descendant of Marie Antoinette herself. Black Joe, medium size. Do I have to pay for these? Do you want? Normally these sell at 20 quid a pair. Ah, 20 quid a pair? That's 10 pound a leg. <laughs> so for you, sir, friend of a friend, we'll say four pounds fifty, including pot. Not into suspenders, is she? No, it's just not. Look, will you just give us the item and leave it at that? Fair enough. We don't want her dragging you off the airplane and wanting more, eh? <laughs> Here we are. Whiskey and water for the boss, lager for Tom, Guinness for Alex, and a pair of medium black for your friend. Just look at that, Darren. Look at the style. Hey, bargain at any price. God's sake. I understand that it's uh, four pounds fifty, but I only have a ten pound note. I'll get you a change, sir. Brick boot lace peelers. We're okay. Relax, everybody. Mm, raise your drinks. Ah, the three body snatchers meet again. Evening, officer. And welcome. Where's the corpse tonight? I just raised this one from a grave somewhere. I represent the Irish government, officer. The one in the south. What did I see him shove into your pocket just now, sir? Oh, uh... Was it these? Are they yours? No. No, they're mine. <laughs> you see? You're very strange company, boys. Uh, yes, I know. Sorry. You might be someday. Now, sir, put them back into your pocket until you're in a private place. Oh, yes. My sentiments entirely, officer. Now, care for a drink? I hope you're not causing any trouble here. On behalf of your government, are you, sir? No, 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 no officer. I, I'm off to uh, Brussels in the morning. Good. Dermot, I told you not to do business with Bootlace. Now has you been noticed, and Alex and me under police suspicion for the second time in 12 hours. Come on, Alex, we're coming. I have a free plane here. I will leave it there. Tom, I was hoping you'd be here. Ah, we are, but we're just going. Well, not just yet. sept has got something she wants to say to Dermot. She's... Well, then we'll leave over. We'll be over here. There's no need for that. What I have to say is public. Concepta, please. Remember my position. I represent the Irish government. This is Northern Ireland, our national enemy. No, this must be said. Must this be said, Roisin? Yes, yes, it's all right. 
Aramis. Miss Br Eleanor has told me everything. She has? Yes. And I'm so sorry, my poor sloppy chops. I've been very jealous and very stupid. And now I realize that she really is only looking after you for me. And I ask your forgiveness. Oh, my little plum pudding. <laughs> and I'll never bother with those stupid contact lenses again. I've been so miserable. The prospect of losing you. You'll never lose me. I promise. And now may I have my ring back, please? Certainly, my little <laughs> What? Are these? Ha, nice after that's not what you think. No, no, you, you weren't supposed to see them. I know that, and I know why. Because I know who you got these for. You got these for Eleanor. For Eleanor? No, 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 they're not. But they're certainly not for me. No good Catholic girl would wear these. Well, I, no, no, my dear, you see. Oh, you know, no, they're mine. Uh, I hid them in Dermot's pocket because uh, I didn't want anyone to see them. Are you saying you'd wear those? <laughs> no, I got them for Roshi. Didn't you, Roshi? Are you saying you'd wear those? Yes, of course I would. Oh, Tom, they're lovely. Just what I wanted. <laughs> oh, Dermot, darling, I'm sorry. I'm always suspecting you when I should be trusting you. Now I think you may have a little present for me. Have I? Oh, yes. <laughs> this is for my darling. You will never doubt me again. Never, my darling. <laughs> never. <laughs> now, everybody, let's go out for a meal to celebrate. Yes. On me. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, before you go, sir, your change. That's uh, five fifty out of ten pounds for the black knickers you bought for the lady. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I'm not sure.